Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty. Black right. with the purple Hold strip. on, let me put this down right here. Oh, oh, it almost failed. It's too expensive to fall now. All right, so. What y'all want to talk about? Well, you know what we're here to talk about. So. Yeah. The Ravens, the Ravens, the Ravens. All right. The Baltimore Ravens. Um, in case y'all didn't see this video, check this out. And I ain't want to get out there, but one thing y'all almost didn't know now. Yeah, almost. I was almost this close. A Baltimore Raven. I was this close. This close. But... You know, I wanted to be Eagle. I stayed an Eagle because I know me and Howard was going to figure something out. But the Baltimore Ravens was the first team that called, and they, they offered just what I wanted. And I just said, hey, the Eagles do that, I'm going to stay an Eagle. So it was it was nice now, man. I almost, I almost was a Raven. I was almost a different bird. Okay, Darius Slay. This close. This close to being a Raven. This close, like you said. This close. Now, with being this close. Not being a Raven. I believe he got 14 million a year. I think like that. I think he got 14 million a year or something like that. And he said the Ravens was matching what he wanted. So we could have had Marlon Humphrey and Slay, Darius Slay. But that's all cool, Danny, and all that stuff. But it was a lot of people saying, oh, Lamar is holding up the money. We can't find the money. We don't have no money. They had money for a defensive player. Now, he's a good defensive player now. He's a good defensive player. But they had money for him. That money just popped out of nowhere. So they always have money for the defense. But no money for the offense. Then you turn around a couple of days later. Iron Rappaport. Is Iron Rappaport or Adam Scheffler? One of them. They said the Baltimore Ravens has put an offer and showed the offer to Odell Beckham. Report, I think he said it one. Here's the video. In the interim, the Baltimore Ravens have met with Odell Beckham Jr. They presented him their own offer. We'll see which Odell Beckham Jr finds more interesting but it certainly sounds like it's the Jets it's the Ravens maybe the Rams still would have an interest but those at this point in time would be the obvious landing spots for Odell Beckham Jr. in what has been one of the longest free agent recruitments that we've ever seen he's at a one year he said one year 15 million dollars now you, let's say they offered we well, I believe they did but let's say they offered their slay, their fourteen million. They should be able to match that. And with them doing that, I wonder if Lamar, you know, you know, Lamar got to come up in the in the organization. Lamar, because they say they still talking to him all that stuff, but he's letting them know. Show me that you want to keep me. Show me that you will get me some help so I don't have to continually put the whole team on my back every game, day in and day out. So with those reports of the Darius Slay and Odell, And uh, the Darius Slay didn't surprise me. Marlon Humphrey was showing the eyes in a the tweet. Then Darius Slay was showing the eyes in the tweet. They was like, ooh. And I'm like, what the heck is going on here? This ain't no offense. Because we need offense. The NFL is geared for offense. That really, a critical play in the Super Bowl happened because of a wide receiver. Offense. <laughs> so, man, I understand we need a cornerback. 
And personally, I would love MP Juice Man to come back. Oh, he done got burnt. Uh, Raven C, he got burnt. He sorry. Did you see him play last year? He was coming off of an injury. As a person that had a knee injury myself, ACL tear in a, in a, in, a, in my knee. You don't be a hundred percent in one year. It should. It took me like two, three years, and I'm not even a professional athlete. On the game, I am, but I would love him to come back. Hometown discount or whatever. We should see. But on the other end, I don't think he will come back because of Harps. You know when you talk back to Harps. That's it. That's a wrap. Hobbs don't like that. So, I don't know. Odell, if it happens, I'll be shocked. That would be like winning the lottery. That's a shocker. The Ravens actually got an offensive weapon that everybody knows. He's cool with Lamar. Well, Lamar's cool with everybody. We know that. Lamar is cool with everybody. But he, he He's cool with a shot. So, we should see. Are they still in the race for D-Hop? Reports say he's going to get released, but I yeah, I think he's going to go Darrell Reeves route and go to Kansas City. Like, remember Darrell Reeves back in the day? He went to the Patriots. He took a pay cut to go to the Patriots to win a Super Bowl. He knew he was going to win a Super Bowl. That's all he wanted. He got his money. Because D-Hop... Do the exact same thing. Take a pay cut. He got his money. He's like, Kansas City. Any championship, what, five years in a row? I don't blame him. I'd do it myself if I, was a, if I was a wide receiver. But we shall see. So, y'all, Darius Slay, um, it is what it is. Um, hopefully this Odell will go through, but I highly, 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 highly doubt it. We don't even have a quarterback right now. But we shall see. Because we know Odell is not going to play if Huntley is back there at quarterback. I 100% know that won't happen. He will only come if Lamar legit says he's coming back to the Ravens. And I believe Lamar will call him privately and they'll talk about that. But anyway, what y'all think? Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.